Yeah, and I look at them. But the enemy is up there. Bangor's a great marina and we're quite happy to be here but it has one major defect at present and to be fair it's not really the marina's fault there's not a great deal they can do about it but the enemy is up there it is the common starling They are here in their thousands. We have to clean the deck every single day. This is just one morning's bird poop. And this is quite a good morning. The early morning, it was so bad. <laughs> I thought we could bag it and sell it as guano. And then in the evening, we have the invasion of the crows. So Gaynor, where are we today? Well, we're in Belfast because we're meeting up with Karen and uh, by the decor of this place, you'll never guess what time it is, um, you know, the year. But uh, yeah, we're meeting up with Karen and Karen's mum. Okay. Mum and I have been up to the Magellan, we've been on the Magellan cruise. Uh, we left Liverpool, we've been up to the Faroe Islands, which is beautiful. And we've been up to Iceland and oh my god I've never seen waves so big. You reckon they were five meters? So uh, no. rocking and rolling and rocking oh, and rolling. Twenty-five feet, that'll be more like uh, seven. No, 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 I think you said five meters and it was like four to ten. How about the weather report actually? I took a photograph of it, yeah, but I'll pack on the boat. So we've come to a fish restaurant that we were here last time. And shall I tell you? Alright, I can't tell you what we've got to. Um, so we're going to have fish today, I'm having, what is it, I'm having mussels in coconut sauce and some rice. Mum's not, not going risky, she's sticking to fish and chips. No, I'm having fish and chips. I know, you're having fish and chips today. Oh, I'll eat anything. <laughs> yeah. We're at the platform, at the top of the viewing, Victoria Centre. Yeah, and look at the... And that's um, Goliath and Jason. Jason and Goliath. What are you up to? Well, it's somebody's birthday today. Ooh, well it isn't mine. I know. And it's not yours. I know, but she's going to be 17 years of age today. 17 years of age on the 17th. Yeah. And who would this mysterious person be? Salty lass, of course! Yay! Hey. Hey. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Salty lass! Happy birthday to you! So we've got some guests coming aboard and um, we're going to have a really nice dinner. That's what we're doing for Salty lass on her birthday. She would have liked to have sailed, but our guests aren't sailors. No. So. In fact, to them, it's a bit of an adventure getting on and off the boat. Yeah, well, we just... <laughs> but we've got a new welcome aboard, Matt, for Salty Lass, because she loves people coming aboard. And it's her birthday present. Yes, it is. 
so that's what she got for her birthday a new mat so um, one of the things that Beverly and I do is um, we do actually clean um, our boat and our bilges um, because then you're looking at things just that little bit closer and as you can see um, from this um, we've got some kind of rust in around the silencer area so um, we're going to have to have a look at that um, as to what's causing the rust uh, but it's clearly coming from the silencer um, so we will have to have another investigation about that well yesterday I was telling you about the importance of keeping your bilge space clean now if you can see down there we have a liquid and if we look further back can you see I've got another little few drops of liquid very big drops but I've got various drops of liquid and basically they are coming from here which is the coolant so we've still got coolant in so it's obviously um, a slow drip but it's coming from here and we've just got some drips but that's the beauty of keeping your engine space clean you can identify these issues early and then you can do something about it so that will have to get looked at it is my pleasure to start this countdown for our Christmas switch along. Are you ready? Here we go. Ten, nine. Turned everything oh, off. So where is the lights, Beth? Santa's curves are my curves. 